Hello everyone, it's Crochet by Beb. Welcome to my channel. For this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this crochet vest with color. This vest is made to measure and we're going to start first the back panel. And the back panel start with the hem and this ribbing. And this ribbing is at least half of your bust measurement. If you want a loose or wider vest, you can add more into your foundation chainless double crochet. And then your next row, we're going going to make the front post and back post double crochet so i have only three rows for my ribbing and it's up to you how long you want your ribbing and then we're going to continue for the bodies for the bodies i use an easy stitch pattern the single crochet double crochet skip one is the same stitch pattern that i use from my latest cardigan and latest top you can check that out also and when you are done your back panel you're going to make the front panel it's the same way to start with the ribbing and then continue and only the difference is to make the neckline here then when you are done your two panels and you're going to sew them together and then adding the armhole ribbing and then make the collar for the materials you're going to need any kind of yarn you want i use here an acrylic yarn and it's number four medium worsted yarn and this is a light worsted yarn so i use it double pull so it will match with this worsted yarn in this color and you will need also your tape measure so you will know your bust measurement and you're going to need also your yarn needle scissors and two of your markers and i use a six millimeter hook and five millimeter hook for my color and i use an approximately 250 grams of my yarn okay so you can use any kind of yarn you want to make your best and this is the final measurement of my best at least 14 inches length and 17 inches wide and consider also if you are using an, a stretchable yarn because this uh, acrylic yarn that i use is very stretchable and consider also if you are making your foundation chainless double crochet just stretch it when you are using an stretchable yarn and take the measurement so you will know how wide your foundation chainless double crochet is my ribbing has two inches and three rows my armhole ribbing one inch and only two rows my color 3.5 and has 10 rows so it's up to you you can uh, decide your personal preference to make your vest how long or how wide you want if you want a loose fit of vest you can add more into your foundation chainless double crochet or if you want a bit of fit you can start with the half of your bust measurement all right so before we start please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tap the bell button so you will be updated for more video tutorials and enjoy making your vest and let's start to start make your back panel first to start our back panel we're going to make the ribbing and the ribbing start with the foundation chainless double crochet and it's in even number and at least half of your bust measurement i'm using here a light worsted yarn and double pull because my main color is medium worsted yarn so i'm using these two so we're going to make a slip knot first and to make the foundation chainless double crochet we're going to make chain two chains and then yarn over and insert our hook into the first chain then pull a loop we have three loops on the hook and then yarn over pull through one so that is the chain and then yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through into the last two loops now you have your first double crochet okay to repeat yarn over insert your hook at the bottom these loops here the chain that you made for your first double crochet then pull then yarn over pull through one loop and then yarn over pull through two loops and then yarn over pull in that last two loops now you have two double crochet so this side doesn't count as your persistence so you just count this one two okay so yarn over insert your hook at the bottom these two loops and then yarn over pull through one pull through two and two okay so i'm counting this loop as one okay because i'm using two strand of my yarn okay so yarn over insert hook 
the bottom the chains that you made pull you have three loops on the hook then yarn over pull through one to make the chain and then pull through two and then pull through two okay so we have one two three four double crochet done so you're going to make this for your foundation chain less double crochet and at least half of your bust measurement and it's in even number okay so again yarn over insert your hook at the bottom grab a yarn you have one two three loops on the hook yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through the two loops so you have one two three four five double crochets done okay so you're going to repeat this to make your foundation chainless double crochet all right so continue making your foundation chainless double crochet at least half of your bust measurement if you want a loose or wider vest you can add more inches for your foundation chainless double crochet okay so when you are done your foundation chainless double crochet so we're going to work the next row to make the ribbing for the next row we're going to chain three and this chain three count as my first double crochet and turn and we're going to make a front post double crochet in this next double crochet okay so this is our first double crochet and this is our next double crochet so count this as your first double crochet so we're going to make a front post double crochet in this next double crochet and then back post double crochet to this next double crochet so yarn over back post insert your hook at the back that and go into that uh, post of the double crochet and pull and make your double crochet and back post again yarn over insert hook at the back go around with that post of the double crochet then grab a yarn and make your double crochet okay so for the ribbing we're going to make two front post double crochet two back post double crochet so only one front post here because i'm counting this as my first front post double crochet okay and then front post double crochet yarn over insert in this next double crochet to make your front post double crochet so insert here for the front post and grab a yarn and then make your double crochet another front post and two back posts in this next two double crochet okay so two front post double crochet then two back post double crochet Okay, so continue making your second row for the ribbing. For my last two stitches, I'm making it one back post and one normal double crochet. Okay. I want it like this because I started with a normal double crochet which is the chain 3 here okay so normal double crochet in your last stitch and then for your row 3 for the hem or the ribbing we're going to chain 3 again counts as first double crochet and turn and just follow the stitches you had for your previous row so now this post is now your front post okay so make this as your front post double crochet and this back post so just follow the direction of the post okay so i made it only three rows for the hem or the ribbing you can make it four if you want because i am using here a uh, double pull or medium worsted yarn so it looks a bit uh, wider already for my hem so if you are using only one strand you can make it four rows okay it's your personal preference also if you want more longer 
him. All right. So if you are changing colors, you can fasten up your yarn here and cut your yarn. That's mine. I cut my yarn and continue with this color. Okay. So now when you are done with your ribbing, we're going to make now the stitch pattern of these main stitches. Alright. So when you are done your ribbing or the hem for your back panel, we're going to start making the main stitches for this color. So I'm not cutting my yarn here because I'm just using this as my swatch. Okay. So you are working like this before, right? So you need to turn your work also when you are working a new yarn and then in insert your hook and just secure your yarn you can carry your tail also here so that it less weaving of ends to start for your main panel these stitches we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch and then chain one doesn't count as a stitch okay so insert again your hook into the same stitch and then make a single crochet and then into your next stitch, single crochet. And double crochet into the same stitch. Yarn over, insert into the same stitch and make double crochet. Okay. And then skip one. And then in this next stitch, single crochet and double crochet into the same stitch. Okay. Single crochet and double crochet then skip one next stitch single crochet and double crochet and continue like that into your stitches just skip one single crochet double crochet okay so it's very easy just skip one into your next stitch single crochet and double crochet and into your last two stitches skip one and then in your last stitch make one single crochet only okay you start here one single crochet and then end with one single crochet also and then to continue for your next row or we're going to count this as our first row and then into your second row we're going to chain one and turn and then into the first stitch single crochet so always begin with single crochet and end with one single crochet okay so in your next stitch on top of the double crochet make a single crochet and double crochet into the same stitch again skip one that is the top of the double crochet and then make a single crochet double crochet on top of the double crochet so it's very easy just skip one and make single crochet and double crochet and then skip one again make single crochet and double crochet okay so it's very easy stitches just skip one and into the next stitch that is the top of the double crochet make a single crochet and double crochet and end your stitch with one single crochet so skip one then one single crochet okay so you're going to repeat this to make your back panel these stitches so just continue chain one insert into the first stitching single crochet then single crochet double crochet and continue okay so continue more rows to make your back panel so i have 12 rows here this is the measurement of my back panel it's 17 inches but it's very stretchable this is stitch so you can consider also your tension or if you're using an acrylic yarn or a wool yarn it's very stretchable so you can consider that if you are using that kind of yarn that is stretchy okay i have 12 rows here before the decrease so for my armhole so this is at least six inches total now with the ribbing so it's up to you how long you want your vest before making the armhole okay so make more rows if you want more longer vest all right so when you are done your rows here before decreasing to make your armhole we're going now to fasten up this so just uh, fasten up your yarn and cut 
for my armhole i want it to be decreased at least two inches it's up to you it's your personal preference you can make it three to make the armhole so for me i want it to be two inches and your decreased stitches should be odd number okay i have seven stitches here to start for my next row okay so two inches here and then two inches also in this side to continue we're going to turn our work to follow the direction of our stitches so now we're going to insert our hook into the mark stitch and then secure your yarn and start single crochet okay so i'm going to remove this chain one doesn't count as a stitch then single crochet then next stitch which is the top of the double crochet so it's the same single crochet and double crochet okay so continue the stitches it's the same single crochet and double crochet and then end with only one single crochet into your last stitch or into this pin stitch okay so just make it a single crochet double crochet skip one then single crochet into your pinned stitch so i'm going to make this first so just continue skip one then single crochet double crochet Alright, so here into your last two stitches, you're going to skip this into your pin this stitch, make it one single crochet only. Okay, skip and then one single crochet. And then continue, just chain one and turn, and then single crochet again, and then next stitch, single crochet, double crochet. It's the same stitch pattern that you're going to continue okay okay so just keep repeating these stitches until you reach your desired height of your vest for your back panel i'm going to continue make more rows and then i'm going to show you the measurement for my back panel for your reference okay all right my back panel is done i have a total of 34 rows start from here and 14 inches length for my back panel you can add more rows for longer back panel okay if you are done your back panel now you're going to make your front panel it's the same way to make your front panel start with your foundation chainless double crochet it's the same kind of stitches from your back panel and make the same row for the ribbing for your hem and continue with the stitch pattern to make the bodies of your front panel it's the same also to make the decrease to create for the armhole and just continue making your row I have a total of 29 rows start from here to make the neckline for the front panel lay your back panel and then put your front panel together and then decide how low you want your neckline is okay so mine this is how low or open my neckline I want for my vest okay so it's your personal preference how low you want for your neckline okay I have 29 rows total so i have five rows more to make for the shoulder here all right so this is the measurements i want for my neckline at least uh, two inches low from my back panel and later we're going to put a collar so there is a space here to create for the collar and i put here also the marker to create the shoulders this is at least also 2.5 inches and it's an even number so put your pin here at least uh, 2.5 inches or three inches it's up to you it's your personal preference and at least even number for your stitches to pin okay now i'm going to show you how to make the shoulder so i have more five rows to make for the shoulder in only in this part okay so i let this open for the neckline and the collar later okay so we're going to finish first in this part five rows and then later i'm going to insert my yarn here and then continue five rows here for the shoulder all right so it's the same just continue your shoulder in this side and your stitches here at least in even number okay so just continue making your shoulder the same total amount of rows from your back panel so i have a 29 rows now so i have five more rows to do the shoulder okay so it's the same you're going to skip one then single crochet into your pinned stitch 
and then just continue chain one and turn and then single crochet into the first stitch and then into the next stitch single crochet and double crochet okay so just continue like like this it's the same stitch pattern and then later you're going to insert your yarn here and you can uh, see the direction of your stitches in this last row the direction of your stitches is from here going there right you're going to turn your work okay and then insert your your yarn here and continue your row going there and then continue more your rows to finish your front panel okay so i'm going to finish my shoulder for my front panel so when you are done your shoulder this side leave at least a long tail enough to show the front and back panel and also in this part okay so i'm going to finish my shoulder and then coming back to show you how to attach them together all right my first side of the shoulder is done so here you're going to work in the other side so turn your work right and then insert your yarn into the pinned stitch and then make a chain to start and doesn't come as a stitch then insert your hook again and then make a single crochet and then on top of the next stitch single crochet and double crochet and continue your stitches okay and it's the same stitch pattern again and it's the same row to finish your other side shoulder okay so i'm going to finish this and later i'm going to show you how to attach them together so i have a total of eight stitches for my shoulder so this is now my front panel done this is the shoulder now we're going to attach them together the front and back panel put your back panel into the right side out so this is my right side then take your front panel and then put it into the wrong side out okay then right side down facing together for your front and back panel all right take your yarn needle now we're going to start sewing our panels together so it's the same stitches okay i have eight stitches here so i need to put also only eight stitches for my back panel okay so just in and out between your loops And then just fasten up your yarn then weave your ends here and then continue in the other side to sew this together okay so i'm going to finish this and then continue in this side and i'm going to show you how to add our armhole borders okay so before we're going to make the border here i forgot we're going to sew these sides together also on this side okay so you can use your tail in this And just go on into the little spaces between these uh, side loops okay so just sew the side together and also in this other side okay i'm going to finish this and i'm going to come back to show you how to add the armhole borders all right so i started putting the armhole border here so i'm going to show you how i did this so it's the same stitch pattern that i put here it's up to you if you want the front post back post for the armhole armhole ribbing you can do that also but i prefer this it's the same stitch pattern from the bodies you can see it's beautiful also the stitch pattern for bordering so i'm going to show you how to do this in this other side okay so just insert your yarn here into the single crochet and then chain one to start doesn't count as stitch and then make a single crochet and then into your next stitch single crochet and double crochet into the same stitch so it's the same stitch pattern okay then skip one single crochet then double crochet skip one single crochet and double crochet so i'm going to show you how i did in this side to make the side so i'm going to skip this and then here in the little spaces you can put your single crochet and double crochet then skip one this what i did is one row for one stitch okay so this is single crochet double crochet and i skip this row and this next side of the row here so i'm going to put my single crochet and double crochet okay then i'm going to skip again this side of this row and then single crochet double crochet into the next side of the row 
Okay, so we're going to do this all the way around for our armhole like that and then we're going to slip stitch here to join and then chain one and turn and then we're going to work again the same stitch pattern for the second row okay so i'm going to show you so i'm going to finish this first just skip and then single crochet double crochet Okay, so I'm going to finish all around, then I'm going to show you how to join in here. Alright, to join, we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch, and then chain one and turn, then single crochet here into your first stitch, then continue on top of the double crochet, single crochet, and double crochet all the way around, okay? So it's the same stitch. And then when you are done here you're going to put your last single crochet and then just slip stitch into your first stitch which is your single crochet here and then just wasn't up your yarn and be your ends and then you are done with your armhole okay so just do your armholes and then i'm going to show you how to do the collar all right so now we are done with the armhole border so now we're going to put the collar to make the collar first you're going to divide your stitches between here so I have 24 stitches so 12 in this side and then 12 for this side so we're going to start here in the middle notice your stitch pattern here so I stop here working on the right side I'm now uh, working in the wrong side so I'm going to start for this stitch mark so just insert your yarn so now I am using one strand of this color and five millimeter hole so I want lighter color so this is a per personal preference so it's up to you you can do the same weight of your yarn okay so i'm putting my yarn here and then chain one my plan is i'm going to put the same stitch pattern also to make the color okay chain one and then single crochet into the next stitch single crochet and double crochet then skip one single crochet and double crochet so it's the same stitch pattern again to make the color okay so you're going to do this it's the same stitch pattern around to your neckline and then you're going to stop here only one single crochet and then we're going to chain one and turn then continue going back around here and then we're going to stop in this side okay so i'm going to finish this just skip one and single crochet double crochet okay around and also in this side going around and then we're going to stop here i'm going to show you how to do this in here all right so here in my last stitch only one single crochet and then we're going to chain one and turn and continue again the same stitch pattern just single crochet in your first stitch then on top of the double crochet single crochet double crochet okay so you're going to repeat this again all the way around and then when you reach here just do your one single crochet chain one and turn work then going back again so you now have three rows so it's depend how many rows you want for your color so i'm going to show you how many rows later so i'm going to make this color continue making more rows to make the color okay so just continue making this stitch pattern to make the color it depends how many rows you want so i'm just continue making this and then i'm going to show you and tell you how many rows i have for my color okay so i'm continue doing all the way around and just uh, end your stitches here then just chain one and go back again then just make another row more and then continue okay all right i'm done my color and has a total of 10 rows and this is 3.5 inches wide so it's up to you how wide you want your color and you're going to fold it like this so it's get a uh, shorter in this side and this is my color and i really like it it's beautiful and yes just weave all your ends and then you are done with your vest all right so thank you so much for joining me making this vest hope you enjoyed making your crochet best and don't forget to share your work at crochet by Beb in my instagram and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like or share this video and hope to see you again next time in my next video tutorial happy crochet everyone bye